Hey, welcome to Ask a Gender Therapist. Uh, this is a video series where I answer your transgender questions from the perspective of a gender therapist. My name is Dara Hoffman Fox. I'm a licensed professional counselor in Colorado and I'm the host of this series. Uh, hopefully you can hear me okay over this normal sounds of a coffee house. Um, this week's question has to do with when somebody is trying to figure out whether or not they're transgender and some of the doubts that come up. This one's a very specific one that I've heard quite often, so here it goes. Uh, basically, it's did such and such event from my childhood cause me to be transgender? Um, another way I've heard that phrased is also, am I really transgender or did such and such from my childhood cause this to happen? And you know what? I don't hear this only from people who are wondering if they're transgender or not, but I also hear it, let's say, for instance, from my younger uh, clients or younger readers from their parents, and they wonder if they've done something to cause somebody to be transgender. So um, the first thing that I want to mention is that, of course, this is just going to be my opinion. Um, so by all means, what my second point will be is that you should, if at all possible, get into counseling to explore the answer to this question. Because if there's something in your past, in your childhood, that is so significant that you're wondering if it caused you to be transgender, then the first thing I want to put out there is this is definitely worth exploring further. You don't want to rush this and you want to make sure that you, in the end, know what your right answer is and what your truth is. What I'm going to do is do my best to answer this question in general to give you a few things to think about um, and then therefore you can go out and explore a little bit more what your specific answers are. Uh, the first thing I want you to think about is why have you asked yourself this question? So for one thing, I know some people are able to go with the theory of, you know what, it doesn't matter what caused me to be transgender. I am transgender and now I just need to figure out what to do about it. So if you are the kind of person where that answer would sit well with you or you're okay with that, then I would say go with that and then you're able to move forward. Um, not everybody's like that. So I also know that there's a lot of people who like to analyze all the different answers, all the different possibilities and making sure that in the end they're going to make the decision that is um, based on all the facts being looked at and so it is important for them to be able to look at these events from childhood to make sure that that didn't somehow cause their transgender feelings. Um, the other thing I want to put out there is that, in my opinion, uh, a trauma from childhood or even a significant event from childhood doesn't cause someone to be transgender but it can definitely cause gender confusion and it can cause sexual orientation confusion um, depending on what the event is it can cause all sorts of confusion about yourself so just so you know it's very normal that if you've had um, some trauma or significant event in your past that altered your life in a big way it's very normal to have confusion in general about who you are as a person and of course that would include gender confusion um, let's see so Going back to the question of why have you asked yourself this question, one thing I want you to really think about is, in the end, are you really hoping the answer is not that you're transgender? So, you know, you can probably understand that because in today's society, even though it's getting better, um, if it turns out that you are transgender, especially to the point where you are so uncomfortable with your assigned gender at birth that you need to transition to the um, opposite gender, it's going to take a lot. Uh, it's going to take time, money, effort. It might affect your relationships, your career. Um, there's so much that can change because of that. So if in the end there's a huge hesitation to want to actually admit uh, or recognize that you're transgender, then of course that's going to come up as one of the things that you're going to analyze and look at through this. But don't forget that in and of itself, being transgender is not wrong. Um, that's one thing that when somebody enters into reparative therapy, which is when um, the therapy is created to actually 
uh, assist the person in sort of either reversing the effects of being transgender or finding a way to just repress it so that you're not actually going to uh, acknowledge these feelings. In reparative therapy, a lot of times they do have you look at your childhood and they find things um, to kind of blame it on. And it could be either having a certain type of mother, a certain type of father, certain sorts of abuse you exp experienced. It could be something either even as simple as, um, I don't know, something that your mom ate while she was pregnant or a certain medication she took. Um, in reparative therapy, a lot of times they try to use that angle. And so that's why I want to caution you to be careful not to use that angle with yourself, where in the end, being transgender is something to be ashamed of or that you feel like it's wrong. If that's at the root of it, um, and I know for a lot of you that may be true because of certain um, beliefs that you may have been taught or maybe even the way our society treats you, that's going to be something that you're going to need to look at first, is that if there's like an internalized transphobia that you have uh, towards yourself, that's going to have to be worked through as well. I know it sounds like there's so many layers of complications here. That's why I want you to go to see a counselor if all this is sounding familiar to you. Uh, let's see. So the reason I'm having you ask yourself these questions is because you need to get to the root of why you're asking yourself this question. Um, and then that way you can then figure out, okay, I now know why I'm asking this question and I still want to go ahead and move forward with exploring this. I want to see if this is true or not. Um, then what you do need to do is explore this event or if there's more than one event your entire childhood to see First of all, what's going on with that? Have, do you still have healing that you need to do from that? Do you still have to um, reconcile with yourself that event and how it actually affected you as a person? And so being able to explore that is going to be really essential for you to get to your answers, to clear up your gender confusion or any other confusion you have about yourself. Um, you know, if this is something that you can control, such as you know what it is that you need to explore, what it is that you need to heal from, I really do strongly encourage you to do that because it's not only going to help you with gender confusion, but with all sorts of other issues as well. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to pause any sort of exploration you want to do about your gender identity. In fact, I encourage you um, to do both at the same time. If you can explore those traumas that you went through, uh, those events that you went through that you're wondering about at the same time as you explore your gender confusion, which means um, you can actually watch a video that I recently made about how to um, work through your fears about your gender and be able to get to the truth of that. Um, you still should go ahead and do those sorts of things and be able to kind of go back and forth between, okay, here's how I'm feeling as I explore my gender identity. Here's what's making sense to me. Here's what feels comfortable to me. Okay, I'm going to look now at this, this traumatic event from my childhood and see, hmm, where does that come into play? So you need to be able to do both at the same time. Um, they're not going to be able to be looked at in an isolated um, container. So, but if you have a good counselor who you can work through these things with, they can help you be able to balance the two at the same time. So, um, in the end, I know that when it comes down to it, you just want to be right. You want to know for sure, if I'm transgender, I want to be right about this because then I don't want to have to go through the whole transition process and it turns out I'm wrong. It's a fear that I know a lot of people have because there are examples of people who um, begin to transition or they transition and then they regret it. The, there are, the percentage of people who do that is very small, but because there is a percentage, that's why, um, as far as I know, most everybody wants to spend the appropriate amount of time to look at this for themselves to make sure that this is the right answer. So especially if you have some layers of trauma from your childhood that you have to work through, then I do encourage you to take the time to explore that explore both the trauma and your gender identity questions both at the same time. Um, <clears throat> just looking at my notes here, one thing I hear people say is that they wonder if their um, gender, gender confusion is a way to help them escape from their trauma, like maybe even as a kid that they used, um, you know, maybe cross-dressing as a way to escape, and even as an adult they wonder if that is so. It can get really messy and confusing at a certain point. You don't know what came first, the chicken or the egg. And so again, that's the 
indication that you need to kind of step back and hopefully with somebody's help be able to work through that trauma and see if indeed you know where did that come from and if it turns out that you already had feelings of being transgender um, or, or of gender confusion when you were young it just so happens that by coincidence the trauma exacerbated it um, then you would know that that's your answer. So you see what I'm saying? You just have a lot of questions that you need answered for yourself. And the only way you can do that is to be able to explore that. And let's see, um, another thing to keep in mind is that when certain traumas do happen in childhood, you can really become detached from yourself. You can be detached, detached from connection with your body and with your psyche. And so therefore, um, there is a possibility that you don't, quite know what's going on with yourself. There could be a lot of confusion, like I said, in general, besides even just gender confusion. So working with somebody to try to reconnect with yourself, to, to um, attach more to yourself and what your feelings are, what your thoughts are, um, that could take a lot of work. But the closer you can get to that, the more you'll be able to get closer to your true answers about your gender identity. So um, I guess in summary, I just want to make sure that um, you know that this is a great question and it's really important that you're asking it because you're taking this very seriously. And in the end, you probably do need to work through your trauma or your significant childhood events no matter what. Um, it'll help no matter what. So, you know, in the end, hopefully it will help you get to the bottom of your gender identity questions as well as many other questions about yourself. Um, and so I do have a video that I made also about how to find a gender therapist in your area. It might be, if you can find one, that'd be great because then you already know they're going to be aware of um, what it's like to talk to somebody about uh, trauma as well as gender issues. And so I'll put a link in the YouTube notes for this so that you can see that video. Um, and then also I mentioned I'll put the video in to, that you can watch to help you continue explore your gender identity while you're working through this trauma. So um, I know a lot of you have written to me asking for very specific advice about this question, but just remember that there's no way I can answer that for you, um, especially just with a few email exchanges back and forth. It's so important to me that you find your answer for this. Um, there's no way I can tell you what your answer is, but I really do want you to find your answer. So please find, find a counselor who you can talk to about this, or if you're really good at working through things on your own find a workbook um, use journaling you know find a either maybe even a close friend you can talk to about this so that you can get to your answers so uh, once again thank you so much everybody who's been writing in um, your questions about uh, transgender issues and if you have a question then I'm going to encourage you to go to my website which is darahoffmanfox.com and you can go to the contact me page and so I'm sure I'll put a link right here that tells you how to get there. Um, and in the meantime, I appreciate everybody who's been um, liking the videos. Actually, one of my videos surpassed the 10,000 views mark a couple weeks ago, um, which was awesome. I was really surprised by that because who knew that so many people were interested in this, but I know and you know now too so I'm gonna keep doing this thanks again for your support and um, just remember I'm here to help so please take care and I will catch you in the next video bye